Welcome back. Let's move and talk about epinephrine. And we're talking about epinephrine here used as a vasopressor, not in ACLS and CPR uh, situations. So epinephrine, as probably you know, works really well here at the pump, which will increase the heart rate, contract inotropic effect, the contractility, increase stroke volume and cardiac output. And then works also here on the vessels here by working on two mechanisms. One mechanism will narrow the diameter cause vasoconstriction and another mechanism by a different receptor. And notice I'm not mentioning the receptors here because I assume you know it, just the practical side. And another receptor will cause vasodilation. So there is two effects, vasoconstriction and vasodilation, and they cancel each other. So there is not much effects here and not much effect on the systemic vascular resistance. I have to say now, with higher doses, as the dose of epinephrine go up, the vasoconstrictor effect become more potent and the SVR, systemic vascular resistance, increase, which will augment the increase on blood pressure caused by this. Now, epinephrine use, it's for sure first line in anaphylactic shock. When you say anaphylactic, anaphylaxis, epinephrine, don't think epinephrine is immediately. Of course, with the fluid resuscitation to bring the blood pressure up. Other than this indication, and it's the only indication where is norepinephrine slash levofed is not a first line. Other than this, it's usually an add-on as a second or third vasopressor. Like in septic shock, there is some say it should be the second agent after norepinephrine, and some say which I, I, I go with adding vasopressin first and then adding nor, uh, sorry epinephrine after that. As you know from this, epinephrine also can be a good choice when there is decreased heart rate and decrease blood pressure because it works like dopamine in terms of um, increasing the heart rate and increase the blood pressure if you think it also epinephrine um, in crashing situations where you have somebody quickly going bradycardic and hypotensive you can push an amp of epi to bring it up quickly and then try give fluids and then leave with it after that so that's a different situation We'll talk about it when we get to the um, crashing patient ACLS situations. But again, epinephrine can be used, as I said, as a second or third line in septic shock, uh, cardiogenic shock, first line in anaphylactic shock. But just remember, first line anaphylactic or other shock can be add on second or third agent after levofed and septic shock i usually add after vasopressin again central line has to be given through central line and remember also the source for all vasopressin is not going to work unless you adequately resuscitate the patient with iv fluid it can cause the extravasation and uh, tissue necrosis so you give the fentolamine if that happen you inject it in the skin it can cause tachyarrhythmias with all its types and as i said dosing just ask your pharmacist or look your sources you know you're gonna i mean uh, forget but you can start at f maybe maybe uh five marks 10 marks i've seen 20 marks and i've seen higher than that the maximum doses that you see when you read textbooks or this in the practical life you will see probably higher doses being used 30 40 mics and remember when you we will talk about weaning you, to, you, you probably you need to take the add-on vasopressors first it's, it's, um, forget about the vasopressor will come to that or let me not just confuse you we'll talk about weaning when we get to it to wrap things up it's first line in anaphylaxis second or third agent on other all other shocks mainly affect the heart in a tropic increase heart rate increase contractility stroke stroke volume cardiac output and lower doses 
it can cause vasodilation and vasoconstriction by affecting alpha 1 and beta 2 and in higher doses you come more of alpha adrenergic uh, activity causing increased systemic vascular resistance thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board